oh, hey, didn't see you there. So many plants here. It is starting to look like a jungle. We're a little bit obsessed. We bought a lot of plants lately and, you know, just like the universe, plants keep expanding here. So I am super excited for today because we're going to make one of my favorites, hyaluronic acid serum. I don't know if you have these problems, but I have dry skin all the time. It's a little bit better in summertime, but in winter it is terrible. But in summertime, also air conditioning, pollution and the sun, they can dry out your skin and not even starting about hormones. They can really mess up your skin. So what happens when we get dry skin? Well, actually, one of the mechanisms developed by the outer layer of the skin is the ability to produce a chemical protective coat called natural moisturizing factor. So this hyaluronic acid serum is actually going to help the hydration factory of your skin by adding a few ingredients that are naturally present in the natural moisturizing factor. We're going to add them to the serum and like this, we're going to help the skin improve its hydration. So why is it important to hydrate your skin? Well, First of all, it gets rid of dry wrinkles, lines. It doesn't get rid of wrinkles, don't get me wrong. It gets rid of these dry flying lines that you get when you, your skin is super dry. Your skin will look dewy, glowy, and supple and fresh and just awesome. So your skin needs water. So I'm a basic kind of gal. I only use hyaluronic acid and a balm, that's it. I don't use anything else. I mean, I've put on makeup today for the occasion, <laughs> but usually I don't even wear makeup and I just put hyaluronic acid first and then a balm on top and some micellar water maybe in the evening. So you don't need a lot, you just need the right ingredients. So what kind of tools do we need today? Again, we need a few glass beakers. We need a little mini dish. Anything you have that looks like this, you're gonna need. We are using a pH meter. Also, you'll need a mini whisk and a little spatula to get your dry ingredients out of the packaging. Maybe uh, like a spatula like this. And of course, a digital precision scale with two decimal accuracy. This is very important because we are weighing uh, small amounts of the ingredients and precision is key. For this recipe, we are using 86.2 grams of demineralized water. I've already measured it out and on our little tea bag holder, I've measured out three of the powdered ingredients. On this dish, we have three ingredients that are gonna make our serum super duper jelly and hydrating. We have Alantoine, this little blob here. Alantoine reduces dead skin cells, which is great in this recipe because then our skin is ready to absorb all the other hydrating ingredients. And in that way, it also helps with the hydration of the skin. We have Xanthan gum. Xanthan gum is a thickener. Uh, made from fermented sugar um, and it gives our serum a nice gel consistency. And then we have hyaluronic acid. So this is 0.5 grams. It's quite light, so you can see it's quite a big pile here. Hyaluronic acid is actually present in our body uh, and more than 50% of hyaluronic acid is found in the skin where it helps maintain the appropriate structure of the skin and keeps it hydrated. So hyaluronic acid is actually part of the natural moisturizing factor, our hydration factory. It can absorb 100 times its weight in water. We are going to be mixing these three ing ingredients together. So I have my little spatula here. So we're gonna mix them together and we're just gonna set that aside. So to the demineralized water, we're gonna add our next hydrating ingredient, which is also part of the natural moisturizing factor, um, and that's called sodium PCA. So sodium PCA is made from glutamic acid, and this is an acid that is derived from sugarcane. It hydrates the skin and it makes it supple and smooth, and this one is actually one and a half times stronger than hyaluronic acid and glycerin and it can absorb 250 times its weight in water. So we are going to be adding a fair amount of this in our recipe, four grams. I would advise you to add this to the demineralized water to ensure that mixing goes smoothly. Four, yes. Give it a quick stir. 
it's not really necessary, but it looks nice. <laughs> so to this little tea bag holder, binny dish, whatever you want to call it, with our dry ingredients, we are going to add our glycerin. We're going to add this to our dry ingredients. So in this recipe, it actually helps us to incorporate the dry ingredients into the water phase. Because if we were to put the dry ingredients directly into the water phase, we would get clumps and it wouldn't go well. So the glycerin is our friend today. So we are going to add five grams of the glycerin. Actually, I have tried this recipe many times and I almost wanted to destroy something at one point because, you know, I was adding the sodium PCA also in this little dish and it didn't go well because sodium PCA has, I think it's too watery. So it was totally messing up my recipe and I was getting big, big clumps every time. And I just didn't know what was going on and I was so frustrated. But then I discovered I need to add the sodium PCA to the water phase and it was much better. So sometimes you just gotta try and make some errors, make some mistakes and forgive yourself and have a glass of wine and then just try again. We're gonna add this to a bigger beaker and we're gonna add the demineralized water with sodium PCA. And to this, we're going to add the glycerin mix with our wonderful ingredients. Give it a quick mix. This is where I don't want you to freak out. There are a couple of clumps in there at the bottom, but um, hyaluronic acid actually needs 24 hours to settle down and ease into the water. And also the xanthan gum needs a little bit of time to adjust. So the next day, your serum will look like this. You see the difference? So this looks like a nice gel. It's still a bit cloudy, um, but that's normal. That's because of the Alantoine powder and also the amount of hyaluronic acid gives it a little bit of a a white color but this as you can see has a bit of clumps in there but just don't worry about it it's totally fine before we add anything else the only thing we need to add now is the preservative eco but we have to test the ph again because the preservative eco 1388 actually only works within a ph range of five to five and a half you'll need to be very accurate with your ph here the preservative 1388 will help it raise a little bit so usually i end up with five and a half so yeah always measure your ph so now that our ph is at five we're going to add the preservative i'm choosing preservative 1388 eco it used to be called dermosoft and it has a few ingredients in there um, glycerin water sodium levulinate which is a salt from um, an acid that comes from sugarcane and sodium anisate which is a salt that is derived from an acid from star anise so it's 100 natural i don't get any allergies from it it's very mild to the skin but you can only use it in watery recipes we're going to add four percent of this that equals to four grams now that we've added this we're going to have it a quick whisk again and we're gonna measure the pH again. Yay, it's at five and a half. So now it is perfect for our skin because our skin pH is also five and a half. We're going to add our serum to our 100 milliliter bottle with a dispenser on there. I'm choosing a dispenser because it protects your serum, um, but the less oxygen um, gets in there, the longer it will last. You can also actually um, put it in the fridge it's nice to put a cold serum on your face in the morning. Can you believe how easy it is to make your own hyaluronic acid serum? I couldn't when I first made it and I'm so happy I discovered this recipe. I actually looked at a couple of hyaluronic acid um, products and I reverse formulated it, but I left out all these synthetic ingredients. <laughs> so all the, all the nasty things that were in there, I left it out. So now we have our natural, homemade, super hydrating hyaluronic acid serum. I hope you really enjoyed this recipe. I know I did. And for this video, I've actually made two batches. So I'm gonna hand it to a friend, I think, because as a present, because it's such a beautiful product. You can also tweak this recipe if you like. You can add a hydrosol instead of the demineralized water. You can add rose water if you have dry skin, or you can add 
green tea water maybe or melissa hydrosol um, if you have oily skin um, or acne prone skin so the varieties are endless um, i would always advise you to measure your percentages but you can always mix watery ingredients with each other so just try it out and get creative so I really hope you like our videos and I hope you want to see the next one as well because we're going to do a really awesome recipe. I'm thinking of a butter, but I'm not going to say which ingredients, but it's going to be really nice. If you want to see our next videos, please like us and subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next one.